Hey guys, Lazy here, and welcome to this Lazy Blazy review for Wish Dragon. I just watched this movie, legitimately just watched it. It was nice and sunny before, so the lighting would have been better, but no, the sun had to go down and it had to wane and all that crap, and I'm gonna start all over again. Hey guys, Blazy here, and welcome to this Lazy Blazy review of Wish Dragon. So, for those new to the Lazy Blazy formula, it's basically I just don't really add a whole lot of editing and all that kind of stuff to it. So, it, and I, I normally do this with like new movies for example, so I'm not really going to go through spoilers in this movie. It's going to be, it's a, it's going to be spoiler free. I'm basically just going to do a quick little wrap up of this movie. So yeah, this movie recently just came out. It has Jackie Chan as the dragon and he is great. I absolutely love the dragon in this movie. So, okay, but uh, to, to, to start off, this is very, very much just Aladdin, but modern day setting and in China and more China related or Chinese related things. Uh, so, for example, the dragon <laughs> instead of a, a djinn, basically, which, I mean, he is a djinn, but not a djinn's djinn, not like genie djinn kind of thing. You understand what I mean? Because I don't. <laughs> so, alright, yes, this is very much Aladdin, even the main character is called Din. Yeah, his name is Din, which is close to djinn, which is kind of funny. Um, a djinn is a, a genie, for those who don't uh, know that. Uh, that's generally what the, uh, uh, the broad range of them are called, are gins. I'm pretty sure, I'm very sure, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> don't, don't, don't come at me <laughs> for being wrong about that. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is, <laughs> there are things about it where it's just like, yeah, this is just straight up a whip off Aladdin. Straight up a whip off Aladdin. Even when you first meet uh, the dragon, uh, Long, I think is generally what he's called, just Long. I mean, he is a long boy. <laughs> Let's be well here, he is a long boy. <laughs> um, even when you first meet him, it's a little bit of a straight whip-off of uh, Robin Williams' as genie. Look, I know what you're thinking. Do my eyes deceive me? A super, all-powerful, magical wish dragon. Could this be real? Is magic real? Yes, it's real. There's a couple little things there, even when like he shrieks down into it, he does like a squeaky little voice, which is very reminiscent of uh, Robert Williams doing it. Itty bitty living space. Now I've been stuck. In this teapot for a thousand years. So the sooner we can get this over with, the better. Have I made myself clear? When it when it does things like that, even the main story. Main story revolves around uh, a boy in very, like, a bad neighborhood, not bad neighborhood, uh, poor neighborhood, that's the word, sorry. Uh, very poor neighborhood, and he has a, a girl he likes that's in the witch neighborhood. So basic. It's extremely basic, but then, yeah, it's literally just Aladdin. Um, it's not much of a spoiler. As I'm saying, it's Aladdin. He even wishes to be a prince. Yeah. <laughs> It's very, very, very Aladdin. And in ways, that kind of sucks, because then it doesn't really stand up to its own. Because how do I describe the story? The story is just Aladdin. And that sucks, you know? Like, I would like to say more about the story, but there's not a whole lot to it in terms of just that. The bad guys I do like, I like the little trio of them, where, like there's like three, three main guys, three henchmen, uh, two of them are like a lot more comedic, and they're, and they're kind of funny, I actually kind of like them, but, uh, I, I actually did like them, and the main one, he, he's kind of great in a sense of like, he only uses his legs to fight, and the stuff it, or he uses his legs for everything. He has his hands in his pockets pretty much the entire movie, not until towards the end of it, when he, like, reveals and just, like, 
And it's just like, oh, well, he's ready now. <laughs> but he, he generally just uses his feet the entire movie for everything. And it's actually really funny. They do a really good job with the animation in this movie. Like, it looks all nice. It looks very pretty. Nice colours and everything. But for the most part, what really works is the... Um, what, what really works with it is just how they use the animation. They did a really great job with it. They... You know, did some really cool stuff with the uh, with the dragon. You know, being a a, a long boy dragon, <laughs> um, uh, like you know, yeah, a classical Chinese dragon. Um, they did some really good stuff there. I really loved all his movements and everything. They did a really great job. Uh, some of the human move movement was fine as well. You know, they do like the whole. Uh, they got real skinny legs, so they'll just like whoop <laughs> sometimes when they move around. Uh, I hope you know what I mean by that, because <laughs> I, I know what I mean, I know what I mean. And it's it's not bad, it's not bad, the animation's quite nice, there's a couple little animation mistakes or... Uh, things I noticed, like, it's not really spoiler, but it, he whips his suit, at one point he's wearing a suit, he whips it, um, and he's just like, oh, I'll fix it up later, and apparently he fixes it up in the next scene. Because <laughs> the whip is no longer there, and uh, they like pointed it out. They, they it was like yeah, I think it was like oh whoops, I'll fix that up later. And yeah, he did in the next scene apparently. Um, so there's a couple little things like that here and there. I have I did notice. Um, it doesn't like it does make you kind of go oh okay. Um, hmm. Uh. You, you, um, hmm, you forgot about that. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Whatever in the end. Like, it's just a very simple little kids movie in the end. Nothing really too much to it. It's all pretty basic. There's even, like, a character in it that's, like, doing everything for, for their child. And then, you know, the child's just like, I don't care. Just be a family, you know? <laughs> And that is so cliche. This movie is full of cliches. It really is. So it's a matter of, you know, how much does it stand up to its own? Because that's the problem I had with Wire and the Last Dragon. It's full of cliches. And just, it did not really pass my expectations. I wanted more out of it. I wanted so much more. And it's Disney, so I expected much more. While, this, while Wish Dragon is made by like a Chinese animation studio, like I know it parted up with Sony, um, but I know that it's mostly just like a Chinese animation, um, which I'm pretty sure like, yeah, Jackie Chan voices uh, long in both Chinese and then English, and this is cool. I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty, pretty sure on that one. Even some of the fight scenes remind me of Jackie Chan, like even though like he's not doing the fighting as he plays the dragon, not the human character, but when the human character's fighting, it very much kind of reminds you of Jackie Chan's kind of humour, so, so I'm not sure if he had like a hand in like uh, producing it or writing it and blah blah blah, but it does seem like they took a little bit of inspiration from him, like because it, it, his fighting is very cartoony, so it works when you kind of see it like that. Yeah, the dragon looked really great. I absolutely loved how, how like, beautiful he looked, you know. Uh, even, like, the main character was just like, oh, like, it's just like, I just really want to pet you. I just really want to touch you. And it's just, cause you look so soft and just furry. And it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I really did love his design. I loved his animation. I loved his movement. And I did like the character. There's a lot, a lot to him. Um, but it, the one thing that does make him different compared to uh, Robert Williams' Genie is he doesn't like the kid. While I feel like uh, Genie uh, really go along well with Aladdin pretty much right away. Right away they are friends pretty much. While here, um, he doesn't really like the kid. And there's a bit more to it. Um, very simplistic story. Very simplistic as to why very much, you know... Trying to teach people lessons on what's important in life, which then is kind of warned at the end. <laughs> Basically, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I can't. I can't spoil it. I don't want to spoil it uh, because I, I. I do recommend this movie. I recommend that you go watch it. So I'm trying not to spoil it. But there's like a thing they do in the end. 
But I'm just like, well, that kind of just ruins the message. <laughs> that's what that's what I thought about that ending. Um, but again, it's another little sappy ending. I'll say that much. Whatever. Another little sappy ending. You, you expect that. You absolutely expect that kind of ending. So, yeah, again, it, it, it really matters as to how it holds up by itself kind of thing. Because um, it's very much Aladdin, but modern day settings. Like, I like that, like, he was, um, yeah, he was from, like, the Din Dynasty or whatever, the, 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 or whatever. He was back. You know, years and years and years, thousands of years ago, or thousand years, whatever. <laughs> um, and so he was always just like, do you want some to cut in guards? Do you want, like, an army to help you out? Uh, do you want to be able to talk to someone long distance? And he's like, you mean like a cell phone? <laughs> and, yeah, when he gets, like, introduced to then, like, how big and, like, new the world is, there's a couple good jokes there that I did like. Uh, that, that was at least different from Robin Williams' genie then, uh, that it was a bit of a, uh, different world then. So, I honestly, even though this is very much Aladdin, it's full of cliches, I did not expect much more of this movie compared I did to Wire and The Last Dragon. So, I will honestly, I kind of have to give this movie an 8 out of 10 foxes. I did genuinely enjoy it. It was funny. There was a good couple of little jokes in there that did make me burst out laughing. I like the dragon. Uh, like a lot of his animations. Even though, I, at first, they did make him very Robin Williams-like. Uh, the main character is kind of Blair. Like, he's fine. He's he, he, he's funny. Like, there's a couple of funny little things and all that, but he's kind of just bland. Like, he doesn't have, like, an interesting design or anything. He's... Really bland, <laughs> in that kind of sense. Uh, I like the bad guys in it, even though, like, the, the head bad guy was really cliche. I uh, didn't really care for him. Well, yeah, there's things like that that I was just like, eh. But I do recommend this movie. I absolutely do. I had a lot of fun watching it, and I feel like you, you guys will too. So, I hope you enjoyed this little review. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel because I love you if you do. Hit that bell icon and this fox says, be who you want to be. Alright guys, bye for now. Uh -oh. I won't try to forget my outro this time. <laughs> Blazely, remember your outro, you dumb fox. <sighs> bye guys.